at almonet also being researched so that whenever those high templars morphed in or gets warped in they have enough energy to land a psionic storm so that's always good that's very very good indeed because when you just summon them you can easily throw down a swine and finally we are seeing blazer is spotting that pylon over there so good job taking out that pylon not really sure why he didn't check it out before maybe he didn't see it so it's always good uh, but he still hasn't seen these two buildings right there or these three buildings right there at the hidden expansion right here four minutes you in as we are seeing Morbin here is going to be taking out this destructible debris so he's just going to expand to the gold expansion so if it is successful he's going to be one base ahead and he's going to completely completely overrun blazer with the income as we are seeing we look at now the resources tab right now Miniskim or blazer is actually behind by a lot and we have a lost templar here dark templar gonna take out some of these units one by one oh taking out one of those mules oh mules always doing a lot of damage oh finally that templar does go down so that templar i think paid for itself already a lot taking a lot of damage doing a lot of damage to the army so yeah that's always good slowing down the Terran army because that Terran ball is very very much dangerous going up against that Terran ball is so hard you can't really understand or you can't really uh, it's very hard to explain as we are seeing more high Templars being warped in right here I, I think they are gonna be warped, warped into some Archons very soon after they cast their psionic storms over that army of blazer but I'm not sure yet maybe he's just gonna wait that wait it out and just let them to get some more energy back as blazer doesn't have really that much units let's look at the unit tab right now we have 17 marauders with 74 marines so it is actually a very big army with five medivacs so yeah pretty pretty intimidating it's really hard to kill uh, this size of army even though you have some dark templar which right now Morvin only has one and 14 zealots and three stalkers so yeah only three anti-air units and a stop and a sentry well you can maybe you can count the high templar as a air anti-air unit because they do attack air and ground well at least the psionic storm attacks air and ground as we are going to see more winner is just going to be uh, moving in one inch by inch one by one planning pylons after pylons or maybe he didn't plan a pylon over here well it's still pretty close I have to say when this pylon comes in there he's just going to be easily easily warping in more reinforcements and just easily going to take in attack blazer over here who is very very close indeed as my freaking computer is lagging right now and this high templar is just gonna sneak in and he's gonna be seen and taken out good job right there by blazer not letting that high templar to do any damage because high templars are always a pain to take care of let's look at the production tab one more time we are gonna see high level of excuse me tech mm, armor level one being researched already right here for our Terran player as we are gonna see the push right here for Manesio Morbin is he gonna push it oh my god my freaking computer is so slow excuse me ladies and gentlemen I'm sorry we are gonna see Manesio Morbin is gonna be marking this expansion finally getting a nexus over there almost at three fourths day done so if he does complete that and gets it saturate very very quickly he might be able to take a lead but he doesn't really have a lot of probes right there in the expansion maybe he's, work he's already walking them over there nope not really walking them over there so I'm not sure maybe Minesco Morin is gonna have a hard time with this he doesn't have really any wow surprise not, no probes at all oh there you go those are some probes right there they're gonna do a lot of damage and here we go oh my god the battle already happened and I missed it and you know, the zealots are gonna be walling back and charging in one more time what do those marauders oh storm storm storms good storms right there for Minesco Morin doing a ton of damage to the army of blazer but still those marauders are still alive and a couple marines on the handful and still those medivacs are still alive pretty well much well in shape so he's just gonna warp in more units before he pushes again and look at that point the bronze drone being landed right here by blazer good job that's gonna stop the attack of those uh stalkers that's gonna make them to zero and you're gonna see blazer is just gonna move in little by little it's not looking good right now as this all his units is halfway left and storm storms goom good job right there good job with those storms taking out a lot more units and putting almost all of blazers units into the red so yeah almost blazers units all gonna go down and one temporary did go down and storms again most of the units are gonna go down very very quickly those storms doing a ton of damage putting all those marauders in the red and so blazer has no choice but to move back but those high templars are in the back or in the front line this is not good right now as you need those stalkers in the front line if you are menacing morbid 
as we are seeing high, more high Templars being morphed and the more Zealots also so this point difference zone is the only one thing that's saving Blazer right now from the attack I mean as you want this point difference is just preventing any damage from those stalkers from happening so yeah good clash right there I think Minesio Morven turned out to be the favorite right there when, when the clash happens as he did take out a lot of these marauders or a lot of those marauders and marines but there's still there's a lot of medevacs on the field right now uh, that's gonna be the big de deciding factor I think of this game as we are seeing more and more units right here zealots this time being warped in from Minesio Morven I guess zealots are the best counter to marauders and not really stalkers but you can't really say that but there is a point of rest around there so I guess Zealous is the best way to go for it as he's gonna focus on that point in zone and still being forced in for Blazer. Blazer doesn't have any choice but to encounter this as he's gonna be in trouble if he does team one more time and storm, 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 boom, storms doing a ton of damage right here. Four minutes come over and he's just oh my god, he actually took out a lot of his Zealous in the in that storm. So yeah, so there's too much, there's too much medevacs right here right now. For a uh, blazer right there, so Minasio Morven doesn't have really any choice but to fall back as Archons are being warped in right now, and the sturdy shield is almost gonna go down. Yes, indeed, it is gonna go down. But then again, more Archons are being warped in, but Minasio Morven is in big trouble right now. He needs to reinforce more units as Blazer is just com continuing, continuing to make more Marauders. I, I guess Marauders are the anti storm units. Well, they they do sur survive more against size storms compared to marines but here we go we can see a little bit more poking in right here for Minesky Morvin but then again those marauders are just chipping and chipping away those um, zealot army zealot counts going down charge again from those zealots those zealots are gonna go down one by one if Minesky Morvin doesn't commit to this he's gonna be in big trouble finally he's just committing right now he is m making blazer to move back so this is not good Blazer needs to co think really really quick but then again he does have a one base lead so he is still in the lead right now as Blazer only is in a two base operation right now and needs to expand but he does have enough mo minerals here I could tell to last him for about five more minutes but then after five minutes he's gonna be in big trouble so we are seeing a colossus being built right now for Minesky Morvan this might be the nail in coffin ladies and gentlemen to Blazer is just gonna completely overrun him if he does if Minesky Morvan does this uh this excuse me this colossus well if he doesn't let this colossus die very very quickly I think I think right now that Blazer is caught off guard for that colossus he doesn't know that it's coming he doesn't have any vikings on the field right now at all so he is in the dark from that colossi so that colossi if it gets to like a high number of colossi is just gonna be terrible for blazer so you get to an, i think the magic magic number of colossi is five so if you have five colossus it's just gonna do terrible terrible damage to that marine marauder ball this is gonna zit way off cleaning away the pad and cleaning that marine marauder ball very very quickly but there's still four medivacs on the field right now and two are still on the way so i hope you guys are all catching this because right now my, com my recorder is very very slow i think i'm recording at five frames per second right now so i hope you guys are still catching all the action as we are seeing minutes more been warping in more and more units right now finally an archon <laughs> successfully being warped in <laughs> if you guys saw that there was a lot of archon balls being warped in a while ago but they were all dead very very quickly oh my god look at that a lot of meta backstage you know, and this is just gonna keep all those army of blazer alive against those storms so those storms are just gonna be barely doing any damage if it is indeed failure and I'm expecting a big big clash right now as we are almost maxed out well not really maxed out as we have 130 food for blazer and look, looks like we have 135 food for Minesky Morvin so it's still very very close in Yemen I'm not sure what's gonna happen to here but right now blazer is doing a scan and he's just gonna move in good spread right here from the army units of blazer is just gonna keep on spreading and he's not really gonna focus fire on those two classes which is very very bad i think he needs to throw down some storm good storm good storm and i'm gonna a big storm right here yeah good storm right there by blazer so it's very big very much a big trouble he's gonna lose all these units not even microing backwards and running away from those storm just don't do terrible terrible damage to those army units as colossus are doing the rest after those storms wow good job right there and more storms are we gonna see more storms coming in right now no not really because we are we just have colossus after colossus and some stalkers to damage and finally a storm 
cleaning up that marine marauder ball. Only two marauders left right now. And right now it's 58 food over 113. So yeah, there you go. GG by Blazer. GG by Morvin. So good game, good game. Very, very good game. Very surprising. I thought that Marine Marauder Ball would have taken the kick, but again, he didn't. He didn't really focus fire, or didn't he? Really didn't have any chance to focus fire on those Marauders. I mean, those Colossus. So yeah, he didn't really. He was really caught off guard of that, and I think that was cost him the game. So yep, there you go. Hope you guys like that, and more coming up very soon. Bye.